we're going to pause there. Hey, Eric, how are you? Hey, hello, teacher. Good. Very good. And you? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm curious about you. How you're feeling? How's uh, this, the quarantine, uh, staying in the room? How are you progressing? Yeah, well... I didn't hear you. I'm pretty much out of the quarantine. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can hear you. Okay. What I was saying is that uh, the last day that, that I was in quarantine was on Saturday, but I was released on Sunday. So on Sunday morning, I got a call and they told me, so you're being okay? You've been feeling okay? So now, now we're going we're gonna to release you. So you, you must have just the, all the the measures in order to to uh, not be exposed to to the okay and not to expose the other people also right yeah. as a matter of Sunday afternoon I went to the mountains I went to El Cerro Verde in, in order to get some fresh air and have a, a good time in order to get the stress out because uh, even that I was, I doesn't, uh, I wasn't feel anything, but just the, the part that, that I'd be isolated, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of hard because you just four, wall, four walls, it make you feel uh, sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the, it's, it's because it's an obligation. It's not a choice, right? You have to stay there. You yeah, can't, and uh, because you you also want to protect your your family, yeah, even just, that you you don't feel uh, anything. Yeah, but just in case, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Mm -hmm. So I went to for today in the, in the morning. I went to the doctor in order to get if I could have some uh, additional uh, things. I mean, I get a blood test also in to the doctor and get a doctor to to check my body my body listen in my heart and my my lungs and all that all that kind of things so uh, everything was nice okay all right good good glad to hear you're feeling good nobody's sick and everything is okay all right yes good glad and i went to do some exercise uh, also oh. in the morning <laughs> Did you go running or walking or what? Uh, I run. I walk for a while, then I run for a while also. Good, good. In the street or in the park or where did you go, Eric? Did the gym? Mm, no, I went to the stadium. Ah, okay. Here in Cincinnati. Okay. So they have they stadium has a how do you call a a, a place to run. A track. Lanes. Uh, a track. A tra yes, a track. Mm -hmm. it, it, is a, it is has a track around the, the field. So many people go there and walk and run. Okay. Great. Great. All right. Maria Isabel, Daniel, Gladys. Hello. Hello. I, was trying, I was trying to find my microphone. I oh. had lost. No problem. No problem. How was your weekend? How are you guys doing? Are you feeling okay? Uh, yes, it was nice, restful, and interesting. Oh. I found I found a movie, and uh, uh, I've heard that the first 
episode uh, was in was on Friday. Uh, and, and it's interesting. I, I, I watched it. We watched it with my son a couple of episodes. What is the name of the movie or, or the series? Uh, in Spanish, what, what is the name in Maldición? It's Curse. A Curse? Uh -huh. But I, I don't know if the translation is, is right there. In Spanish is La Maldición de Bly. Is the... La like Maldición the de... Bly. Bly. E L Y. Okay. Uh -huh. It's interesting because it's a, it's a British accent movie. And, and and I don't have a clue what they're saying, even when they talk that <laughs> nice and so smooth and uh, what? <laughs> okay. It's nice. It's oh. I, I don't know if you watched The Hill House. Yeah, yeah. I love Hill yeah. House, the, the series. I like, so, the, I like that series. Uh -huh. So they say that this is, is the second part. It's like the, what is the name? The, 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 the it's continuation? About, it's the same act. Uh, 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 uh -huh. A kind of a continuation. I still don't see where is the continuation, but it's the same type of movie. Okay. Or, or is it the same actors? But playing different roles. Uh -huh. huh. Different. Uh -huh. In this one, the mother, the mother in Hill House, in this one is is a um, mysterious lady who got to a wedding and began to tell the story. The story about the the curse of the house. Uh, maybe, right. maybe it's it. Maybe it's only a series similar, not the same continuation, but similar. Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when they talk about it, they said it's the continuation of the Hill House. So I was so oh. curious about it, but I'm still waiting. Where is the part where, <laughs> where, where, where you can see the, the uh -huh, where it continues? But that is interesting. Okay. All right. Well. Um, I see we got a couple of people now, a couple more people, which is great. Um, we're going to be trying to go ahead. As you know, this is our last week. I know many of you have been working very hard in the platform and have been advancing. Some of you have been sending messages and asking. That's great. It's great. Um, I know some of you are still behind, so don't worry. You still have a few days, but try not to let too many days go by without being up to date. Today, we're going to be looking at what is called tag questions. Now, the idea is really the function, sorry, the, the function of the tag questions is just to confirm information that you, su you suspect. So if you think it's true or you think it's false, but the tag question is to confirm that information, okay? So I say, uh, as an example, um, I'm gonna put it in the chat so that we can see the difference between a tag question and a regular question, okay? In the chat is the in the chat here here in in the zoom okay this is a normal question okay that can you read the question work from home do you work perfect. from home okay perfect okay and then we have good the, evening good evening and then we have the tag question Okay, you work from home, don't you? Now let's compare that. Let's take a look at what, how that works. So in the normal question, we have do, and we have it in the same order. The person, uh, the verb, and then the complement. Do you work from home? In the case of a tag question, we have like a sentence, you work from home. Whatever statement you have, you eat pupusas, the weather is hot, I, whatever is a normal sentence, you put. But at the end of the statement, you put like a question in opposite. So if it's positive, you put the negative. If it's negative, you put the positive, okay? So I'm gonna give you the next example, the same idea uh, as an example so that we can see how it would look differently uh, if it was a, a negative form, okay? Give me just a second. Okay, so now you can see we have the two tags. We have a negative tag, don't you? And we have a positive tag, do you? Okay. Oh, now you, okay. Now, in, 
the first one, what's the difference in meaning? Well, both of them can be used. But in the first one, do you work from home? It's a direct question. Do you want to know if the person works? This is a question, right? You have no idea. You don't know if it's yes. You don't know if it's no. It's only asking a question. But in number two, you work from home, don't you? Is I suspect, I imagine, okay? Teacher, you missed the verb in the second one. Oh, thank you, thank you. You work from, in the third one, right? You don't work from home. I got you, I got it, I got it, I see it. Okay, so we have, you work from home, don't you? And then, thank you very much. Uh, the correct one is the last one, okay? The one that Roxana pointed out, it, because we need the verb, okay? You don't work from home, do you? Now, what's the difference? The difference is, what is my opinion? And my opinion is, I think, when I say you work from home, don't you? I think the answer is yes. I think the person, they work from home, okay? In the, the last one, you don't work from home, do you? I think the answer is no, okay? So I already give my opinion, okay? I, like I tell Maria, uh, Maria, you, you see your grandchildren, don't you? I already give my opinion. I think you see your grandchildren, but I am asking to confirm the information, okay? If I think it's negative, is then I put the don't or whatever whatever is negative. You don't see your grandchildren, do you? Okay. And then I use that when we talk about the opposite tag is at the end, the opposite of the sentence. If the sentence is positive, we put negative. If the sentence is negative, we put positive. This is the idea. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, because I know several had some questions for the tags. And once again, what is the function of the tag? The function is to confirm information, to see if it's true or if it's not true or whatever we think. That's the idea of, of the tag questions. Okay. Any questions at this moment? No? Okay. Now let me clarify. Here I use do or don't, but it can be any auxiliary. It does not have to be do or don't. We can change. I can change this for, for example, can and can't. I can say to Daniel, Daniel, you can drive a car, can't you? Because I suspect Daniel drives a car. Okay. Or I talk to Eric and I say, Eric, you can't fly a plane. Can you? Because I suspect Eric cannot fly a plane, okay? Or I look at Morena and I say, Morena, you aren't happy, okay? Are you? Because Morena does not look happy, okay? Uh, ah, there you go, Morena. Ah, now you, now you are happy, aren't you? You see, I can change any auxiliary. The auxiliary is the same auxiliary that you use for the question. If the question is do, the, the auxiliary in the tag is do. If the question is uh, the verb to be, am, um, is, are, the same is in the tag. If the question is can, the same in the tag. So when you are curious and you don't know which is the correct tag, think of the original question. Whatever is the original question, that's the same auxiliary, but at the end, okay? So if I say, Marcela, can you cook? Ah, okay. The can is the normal question. So then this is the can in the tag. So I would say my, you can cook because it's the same. Only the beginning, the can, I put at the end. Can't you? Mm. It's clear. I just wanted to make sure that we understand that it's not only one auxiliary. We can use any auxiliary in any situations. Okay, all right, then let's watch a small video. Now that we have an idea of the tag, remember, 
what is the function? The main function is express your opinion and confirm the information or express what you think. Okay, here's, oh, let me share my screen with you. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of tag questions for opinions. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Okay. So, what are we seeing? Well, at the Dad, my school. That's there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is thought? we can see that the main idea is for the person to express their opinion, to get the idea, okay? So we see health insurance is really expensive. This is my opinion, or in this case, this is Todd's opinion. Health insurance is really expensive. And he's checking to confirm that the other person has the same opinion. And he says, isn't it? So he doesn't ask the direct question because he doesn't, he's giving his opinion as well as asking the question is different than, ah, is health insurance really expensive? Because in this case, when you ask a direct question, you do not express your opinion. You do not have anything, only that the person you are asking for the information. Hmm? Does that make sense, guys? Does that, we are, it's clear the, how we use it? Yeah. We use it only for, in order to yeah, keep kind of. Yes, it's clear. Okay, uh, let me normally, give you an example. Can you guys hear me? Yes? I was asking no? uh, if normally we use this in a, in a normal conversation or just a formal conversation? Hang on, let me try again. Sounds like... Okay. Can you guys hear me or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I was, yes, okay. I wasn't sure. Okay. So, did you hear my explanation or no? Uh, right now, no. Maybe no. Oh, well, I. What I'm asking is, if we use this in a formal conversation. Well, I know that is when we want to express our opinion. But how often in the real conversation, daily conversations, we use this, or is it's. It's, it's pretty common. If, if, uh, no, no, it's actually pretty common. It's pretty common in a day-to-day -day conversation um, because we're, you're, usually you're expressing your opinion, right? You're, normally you're talking about something or you're asking for information. So these are the two ideas. So whenever we have a conversation with somebody, you say, oh, like uh, let's, we went to a restaurant or we had pupusas and you say, oh, wow, these pupusas are really good, aren't they? It's, it's normal because you you express what you think, but then you're, you're asking the other person also what they think, mm -hmm. okay? So I can say, Roxana, uh, Haunted Hill is a really good series on Netflix, isn't it? 
okay? Because it's, I give her first my opinion, what I think, and then I check if she agrees or doesn't agree, okay? So, so. No, no I don't like it, sorry. I, you, listen, Maria, <laughs> listen, Maria, you hear it, Oksana doesn't agree. Huh? Oh, Maria is <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I don't like that theory. <laughs> I like another kind of serious uh, <laughs> i i i'm sorry <laughs> okay that was interesting well i think it was interesting because at the first you think that is a horror movie a horror series but in fact it is about more psychological reflects on your daily life uh, about what you have inside of your head and your feelings and remorse and regrets and things like that here. It's interesting. It's, it's oh, maybe I like it. I like when I like, mm -hmm. like when people um, uh, explain to me uh, the series of movies mm -hmm. because it's, they say when they I see, saw the first, uh -huh. yeah, because they they see ghosts. But as long as you are uh, watching the the series. You, you discover that those ghosts are their own regrets, their own fears, their own uh, traumas and things like that. So it is, and talks about the five stages of the morning, more, how do you morning. say when? That's right, morning. morning. That's uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. Morning, what so is that? When morning, the... when, when, when you lose someone and you are so sad and, and you know that there are five stages. So the, that movie touched about those five stages and each stage is one character and it's acting in that way and you, you found out at the end. It's, it's very interesting. Okay, <laughs> but it's a lot of, of, of temporal, how do you Seasons. say temporal? Seasons. Seasons? Yes. Yeah, I don't remember, but the first one, one I was looking... I was looking this way <laughs> when when the first goes. Okay, go maybe and, and we talk, Maria Isabel. Yes, and that's <laughs> and what we're we, going to do. And we do the. <laughs> that's that's what we're going to do right now. The idea is exactly that. You talk about a conversation. You talk about a topic. You talk about a movie, a TV, a food, a restaurant, whatever you want to talk about. The topic isn't important. The important is to express your opinion using tag questions. Okay, so the food is really good, isn't it? Or the, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever, the, the drink is terrible, okay? Or I, um, whatever you want to make, remember, it's just like making a question, but instead you make a sentence and put the question at the end. Now, we're going to make a group, we're going to make small groups and practice. But before we do it, we have one more video just to make sure that it's clear and we can see a few more examples, okay? Now, this video, we, this is 5.6 in case you are in the, in the computer. Eric, did you have a question? No, no, no. Okay, so one more, one more time, 5.6, and we're going to check, okay? So let's watch the, a little bit more and then we're going to practice in our groups. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use our questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. 
And isn't it is a tough question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tough question. Child care isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in the question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Okay, so a couple of the things we are about. One of the things that's important to mention is this part towards the end. This is one thing topic that I forgot that I didn't mention. And this is when we use the tags, we also can use present or past, but it has to be the same. So if the verb in the sentence is present, the tag is in present. If the verb in the sentence is past, the tag is in past. This one I forgot to mention that it is, that this is the difference than a normal question because the normal question, always the verb is in present. But in the tag question, the sentence is in past, the tag is in past. The sentence is in present, the tag is in present. Okay? Hey, teacher. Yes? Can we use a simple future here? Can you use which one? Uh, the future. Uh, you can, but the tag is different. It's not the future tag, but you can. So uh, you can say, you are going to your mother's house tomorrow, aren't you? You use the present tag, not a future tag. So, uh, easy for, for example, if I say, if I say uh, there will be a bridge here, and the pregunta sería, uh, won't be? Correct. Maybe? There won't there because you use will. You see, there will be, so you use won't. If you say there is going to be, ah, you use the verb to be, so you have to say isn't there. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So now that we have a little bit of an idea, that's what we want to practice in our groups. We're gonna practice the oral part of making the tag questions. Now, how do you know what is the topic? It doesn't matter the topic. Remember, our topic is not important. It's using the tags that's important. So you can express whatever you like, okay? Um, I can say, uh, even if the information that you know about the person, it doesn't matter because what we want to do is practice the structures. So I can say, Gladys, you work from home, don't you? Right? I can say, Marcela, you have long hair, don't you? Okay. Or I can say, Marcela, you can speak English, can't you? I look at Miriam's picture. Miriam, you wear glasses, right? How would I finish the tag? If I say, Miriam, you wear glasses, what would it be the tag? Don't you? Correct. Mm -hmm. Because in the normal question is, do you wear glasses? Mm -hmm. Okay. I say, uh, Abner, okay. Abner uh, can drive a car. What would be the tag? Abner can drive a car. Can he? Can. Correct. Can't he? Exactly. If you talk about the person, you use you. If you talk about another person, you use he or she or whatever. Okay. Is everybody ready for the group or do you need another example? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready? Okay. That's what I like to hear, that you're ready. Let's go to the groups. Let's practice the tags, okay? Remember, the function is give your opinion and ask the question. That's the function. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. So
we have to give uh, um, the sentence. Um, I don't know. Sorry. So we kind of start. Yeah, just just a normal conversation. Think about something that you think of the other person or your opinion, and that's it. For example, I say, Celia, you have a boyfriend, don't you? Or I say, Amner, uh, you are married, aren't you? So just think, to help you, think about the question that you're going to ask. Do, does, is, are, and, mm -hmm. and then you make the sentence and put the question at the end. That makes it easier for you. Okay. If you have difficulty, if you have difficulty, use a piece of paper, use a pencil, and write down two or three questions first for you to practice the structures if you have difficulties, okay? Okay. Did you grow up a, a, a letter? You grew up a, a letter? Uh, um, uh, you grew up this, a letter? Is in, this is the verb in past. That's right. The very simple. So, um, did, did, uh, didn't, didn't you? Didn't you? Correct. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Ask me. Okay. Ask me question. To me. Okay. Ask okay. Me. For example, do you do you eat uh do you eat a del a, a delicious a pupus? ¿Cómo se Delicious pupus. Delicious pupus. You eat delicious pupus. Uh, uh, do you? No. Don't you? Don't you? Yes. Don't you? Okay. Okay. And another example. I I see I see uh, I see. A uh, new, a new, a new movie. Uh, I see a new movie. Don't you? Don't you? Lo mismo, uh, same. Don't you? Okay. Try again. Try again the same sentence. Okay. 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 Uh, eh, que te ver. For example. Uh -huh, okay. For example, uh, my oldest daughter uh, can paint very well. Uh, can she? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, so difficult for me. Mm -hmm. Can she? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Another example, uh, my uh, youngest daughter um, can, can play the piano, uh, play the piano, play the piano. Play the piano, your, your que, your, quien toca my, piano? <laughs> my younger daughter can play the piano. Okay. Uh, can finish, play the piano. Can... Finish the statement, Claudia. How is the tag? Finish the statement. Because the tag is ah, que, uh -huh. finish the statement. Ah, eh, my youngest eh, daughter can play the piano very, very good. Okay, and, very well. And very well. And what is the tag, Claudia? What do you use for the tag? Ah, the, the tag question. Can she? Correct. Can now, she? yes, exactly. And this is the idea. You it's. The person that is asking or the person that is making the statement has the tag, not the other person, because you are having the normal conversation, not completing the exercise. It's all. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. It's okay, whatever okay. you are giving your opinion. So, for example, you and um, Daniel are talking about food. Ah, 
I say, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, Pizza Nova has delicious pizza, doesn't it? And this is the conversation. This is because it's not, is is my opinion the same, the same and I, person. The, the same person, person. the same, the same person. person. Um, Correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. 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 Quick, and I, I saw that so many people for the lunch time they eat together, and they put out the mask, and they eat in the same table. So maybe yeah. um, that I think that is not correct because uh, right now we. I think that we have to take care. Have yes, been, to I be, don't know how to say. Be careful. Be careful. We yeah. have to be careful. Don't you think that? <laughs> I don't know how to say. <laughs> okay, Roxy, okay. Only Roxana, please. Roxana, okay, Roxana. <laughs> but remember, it's only don't you. Don't you. Yes, don't you. because it's okay. only. It's only, the tags are always going to be only two words, okay? Okay. So uh, uh, I think we have to be careful, uh, don't you? And that's it. And that means, uh, do you think we have to be careful also? That's it. It only takes okay. two words. The always, okay. you're welcome. I'll let you guys continue practicing. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that we have to. They notice this. They say, don't worry, I'm going to talk a little bit slower. And they just like uh, speaking like that, 80% of their usual, as they usually do, and that, then I, I understand everything. Yeah, so, but. Yeah, that uh, happens, but, but, but when you are staying a little bit longer, then they just relax and forget about it. Say okay, <laughs> that, that is very yeah. nice when they try to, and sometimes you can see people that are trying to to look for different words, easy words, so for you will be easier to understand that sometimes no, and nope. and and I was I don't remember what what I was pronouncing terrible, and this friend <laughs> I I I told her why why you didn't correct me, and she said because you sound so funny. Because you sound like a little girl, like a child. So that was so funny. That's why I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that you mentioned that. Defining and defining and non-defining clauses. Yes, but the, 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 the knowledge check is just about non-defining. That, that's what I remember. And you only have to add the part yeah. that, it, that the sentences gives you. And just add the commas, and that that's all. Yeah, I guess, I guess it is. It is, yes, because, yeah, you're right. Be because the, I did it in that way. Me. Yeah, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And I did it in that way, putting the comma, putting the, between commas the, the part which is non defining, and at the end, the, the rest of the conversation. And that's where I almost finished the, the, the final test. But it's just one exercise, which is the the, the, the last one, I guess the number the, the number five, the that I couldn't finish yet. I don't know why. I've been trying for many ways uh, to do it, but I couldn't finish. Uh, well, after this class, I will try to continue. Maybe I could finish today. Mm, it's yeah, hard, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. Ah, you see, there you go. Put it in. Put it in. Exactly. Give your opinion and make the question. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So the same thing. Like I said, it takes time, doesn't it? Okay. Just you use all the time. Only that instead of using direct questions, only put your idea, your opinion, and then boom, at the end, the tag. Remember that the tags or tag questions is only necessary two additional words. It's only two words is that the auxiliary and the person uh, don't uh, or doesn't he don't you uh, can we it, that's it it's only two words the auxiliary and the person and that's it for the tag okay okay i'll let you continue practicing okay okay 
it, it is kind of... <laughs> Excuse me? Edwin is a good teacher, isn't he? Ha, only because I'm I present in I am media. You have to take an advantage from that. Oh, I know, I know, me. Oh, no, that is true. <laughs> you guys have Teacher, uh, Yes, Karen. Me Miriam have a have an issue with the uh, final test. Okay, let's take a look, Miriam. What is the okay. what is the issue? The last one of the last part of the exam. The last part of the exam. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I will tell you which. Um, Are you on the computer, Miriam? Yes, Share I am. Your Share your screen. I know, no, but I, no. I, I am in the computer, but I'm, I'm in, in Zoom. Uh, I am okay, in the... Okay, okay, no problem. I can, share, I can share it, teacher. Okay. Yes, please, please. Let's take a look. Can you see my, my, my screen? Yes, Karen, I can. But okay. I haven't finished the last part, teacher. No problem. Let's work together. Okay. What is the question, Miriam? It says executive producers aren't involved in shooting a film. They are responsible for the budget. So uh, I, I write executive producers, comma, who are responsible for the budget, comma, aren't involved in shooting a film, dot. And it and it is wrong. Um, I try with that. Wait, tell me again. Executive Exec produ mm -hmm. producers. Mm -hmm. Who? Who? Uh -huh. yeah. Are Executive. responsible? Yes, comma. Okay. Who are responsible for the budget? Uh huh. Comma. Uh huh. Aren't Mm -hmm. involved in mm. shooting a film. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we give it. Aren't involved, right? Correct. That is correct. And, may, and you put the, the period at first? the end. No, who is first? Aren't. No, 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 no. Okay. So erase aren't. Erase aren't. Uh, uh, sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, no, sorry. No, no, no. So, so, so it's executive producer, comma. Uh -huh. Are. No. Are. Who? No. Are who? Uh -huh. Who? Are. Are, right? Correct. Go ahead, Miriam. Continue. Who are? Are responsible. Ah. Who are responsible for the budget? For the budget. Uh -huh. Comma. Budget. But yet. Uh -huh. Comma. Uh -huh. Budget. Uh -huh. Aren't, Aren't involved in shooting uh, a film. Aren't involved. Uh -huh. In shooting a film. Uh huh. Hello. Karen, it's okay. Karen. Karen. Hi. Hi. Did you stop sharing the screen? I'm sorry. I I have a a bajon de a bajon de internet. How do I say? Oh, okay, okay. Power outage. Power outage. Can you can you write it, please? Sure, sure, sure. Because it is it's frequent. It's frequent in okay. my home.
Our array. Uh, involved. Uh -huh. In shooting a film, right? Correct. That says it's incorrect, or maybe because I haven't complete all the the first four. No, no, because it has to give you the sentence is correct. It has to give you uh, at least one right. Let me see. Executive is correct. Producers correct. Who are responsible? Uh, after responsible, is there a comma? Uh, uh, wait, wait. No, sorry, sorry. Not, 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 not after. Yeah, uh, sorry. After the budget, not after responsible. Sorry. Are responsible for the budget, comma. Uh, you have two spaces. For okay. aren't, there are two spaces, you see? Uh huh. Okay. Yes, I see. Aren't involved in shooting a film. A this, film. My, medium, this is your answer, right? Uh, right. Okay, check, Karen. Right. You yes. See? Maybe the point at the end, medium? No, because you, you, you put the point, Karen. In your sentence, look, in the end, you put the point, you put the period. No, but for media? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Involved in shooting. <gasps> I don't know what happened. It's a mis misspelled. Then, let's see. Executive producers who are responsible for the budget aren't involved in shooting a film. I don't know what happened with me. No problems. Let's see. No, I will try. I will try to check it. No problem. Mm -hmm. See if it. Uh -huh. Maybe one space or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like in the case of, of Karen, when the wrong for two space and she didn't notice, but the rest was correct. OK. Producer who are responsible for the budget. Budget. Okay. Aren't involved. Um, sometimes the things that uh, the, the I don't know how. Como, how do you name the la comita esa que tiene aren't? <laughs> apostrophe. Ah, the apostrophe. Apostrophe. Ah, the apostrophe. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will change it. Let's see. Maybe I will just. I have problems frequently with the apostrophe. That that that's the reason that I copy the the. Uh, yes, that. that was that was a mistake. Okay. Ah, okay. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> no that problem. Correct. Okay. Everything is correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Are there any questions? Anybody not clear or any examples that you're not sure if it's the correct tag or something like this? Sure. Yes? I have a question. I, I was doing uh, an exercise on the platform, the 5.7. 5.7, okay. Yes. The sentence five is the sales tax should be lowered, but I'm not sure what the answer should be. Okay, so we're using should. So uh -huh. we have to use should. It's always the same auxiliary. Uh -huh. So if the sentence is positive, what's going to be the, the tag? Shouldn't it. Correct. Mm. Ah, okay. I got it now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else have any questions or anything they're not sure about? It's not a question, maybe an opinion that when you are talking, it's hard uh, because we are thinking that we have to use the tag questions. Right, so it's hard that 
came like naturally. Of course. You have to like think. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just an opinion. No, it's true. And you have to think about it because it, until it becomes natural, everything is an effort. It's just like spelling. If they say, spell your last name, spell your first name, until you memorize, until the alphabet is natural, you have to think about it. You have to think, ah, the A, the E, the I, all of these are the same. The same for the tag questions or for anything. Um, and what uh, Maria Isabel asked earlier, how often do you use it? You, people use it all the time. Um, it's a normal part of the conversation because almost always you give an opinion, okay? Mm -hmm. Or and, when you, you want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. and, and, and another opinion, I think that these that questions can help us to, to be the, like the conversation, like friendly conversation. Because sometimes maybe you you are like do that uh, you have to do that or something like that okay, maybe they or you want to prove your own uh, thinking so if you use the tag questions maybe you have to you are like asking the other person so it's not just your opinion is the opinion of the other person so it's more friendly i think it is it is because it's you give your opinion but you ask for their opinion okay um i for example uh, i say uh i am hungry okay and i ask if you are hungry aren't you okay so it's a way to say are you hungry or or to invite someone or to go somewhere okay or um Whatever it is, it's it's just that it's another tool that you can use instead of having to always ask direct questions, okay? Because you can, you can give your opinion and you can give or what you think the person feels or believes and then you just check to make sure it's okay with them. Okay, so imagine we are in the, we are with Eric, okay? And we are going to go to a party, but only Eric has the car. And we, uh, uh, Maria Isabel, Miriam and I work with Eric and we say, hey, we can go with you, can't we? This is a nicer way of saying, can we go with you? Or this is a more, a friendlier way of saying, instead of trying to be direct with Eric and say, Eric, take us, for example, okay? This is just another way to ask different information. And, Sometimes a little bit friendlier. Teacher, mm -hmm. yes, we, can use, we can use tag questions only in affirmative sentences or in a question sentences too. You can only use in sentences. It it can be affirmative or negative. Okay. So as an example, I say, um, I don't know, Morena, you don't have children. Do you? I say don't because I think maybe she doesn't have children. In affirmative or negative, no in, in question. No, I, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because the tag is the question, so you don't make you don't make um, another question. Uh huh. Yes, so, yes. So it's not correct mm -hmm. to say, "Do you have children?" Don't you? It's not because it's when you make the question, it's not necessary the tag. The tag is okay. only necessary when you make a sentence. Okay. 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 Anybody else have any other questions or ideas or comments? We were talking with Ernesto about this and, and, and we were talking that, I was telling him that for me it's a kind of difficult because in things like this, I realize that I am trying to speak English thinking in Spanish. And, and then because I don't use that that way, so often with my friends and anything so uh, it doesn't exist for me and, and it's a little hard to to I, I know the structure but when i'm talking i just forget because i don't use it in spanish and i and and i and i was telling him i said i realized that i am trying to think in spanish translate into english and that it doesn't work no way okay and it's okay, Maria, it happens. It's just a matter, it, the important is to be conscious and little by little stop doing it. 
because many people speak English the way that they speak Spanish. They say, hey, you are hungry. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and is, is, this is not a question. This is just a statement, but because in Spanish, this is how we speak, okay? The, the people tend to do that or different words or grammar and it's okay the important is to try to be conscious that is it's a different language and you have to use it differently it's not going to be used in the same way not the same vocabulary not the same words there are some words that have a meaning in english and there are some words that don't that in spanish exist remember in spanish exists more words than in english so some words they don't exist in english they don't exist the expressions Things like that. Anybody else? Okay, then let's try together um, this exercise here. Uh, if, just as we finish up the class, okay. This is from the 5.7. This is the 5.7 knowledge check. Let's see who would like to try number one. You can't escape advertising nowadays. Can't you? Correct. Because the auxiliary is can't, is negative, we have to put the opposite. Can you? Good. What, what about is the meaning of nowadays? Is now, in this time. Nowadays is for in this time. Okay, what about number two? Right now. Mm, is different because right now is in this moment and nowadays is the time that for example in the 21st century in the 2000s this is nowadays thank you you're welcome then we have number two you aren't there sorry there aren't enough gun control laws mm. <laughs> excellent that the opposite is are and then there are there very good Extra point. Extra point. Mm -hmm. Number three, noise pollution is a major problem here. Isn't it? Correct. Very good. Now we're getting the ideas. Excellent. Teacher, I yes. don't know why I have a mistake in number three. What did you I, I grew up in it with contraction. I spell I S N. Apostrophe, apostrophe. Yes. T, t mm -hmm. space, I, T. Yeah, something, something you put wrong. Maybe the apostrophe, maybe you put a space before isn't, something, but there, because that is the correct answer. It's something technical that maybe you didn't put correctly. Ah, okay. Or maybe, maybe you use capital letter in isn't. Correct. That's another option. That's another thing that happens. Sometimes... Oh. It has to do with, is because we checked with somebody else, they had a question about an exam or a question in the exam, and the answer is correct. It's the technical, so a space, a spelling, something that you don't know, but one of those things is wrong, but the answer is correct, isn't it? It happens frequently with the apostrophe. It yeah. happens to me. A lot, mm -hmm. a lot with the apostrophes. It happens mm -hmm. to me too. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to pause there. And tomorrow we're going to practice some more tag questions. We're going to finish up the unit five. So that way, making sure that you're okay and everything is good. And Wednesday, the idea is to review in case there's something that you're not sure about, but you should be almost, almost doing the exam, if not already have done the exam. Okay? Okay. 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 All right. All right, guys, have a good night. I see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.